seats because there's no way to go around it or if might be yes but i end up breaking some things so on this side i think i kind of broke the piece but i don't welcome back to another episode of we rebuilds today as you know now that we have some of the stuff installed on the front but i still have not installed the front bumper yet and like made the minor adjustments but you did see from the last episode we did put the old hood on off the other car so this episode today what we're going to try to do is work on these seat belts today so you know this one is locked up um, I end up taking this one off the parts car off camera but this one from the passenger side so what I'm going to do is try to see if we could take this front seat out today and pull everything that we need to pull out we're going to test this to see if it works if it doesn't work then what we're going to do is uh if this doesn't work we're just going to we know that okay we definitely might need a seat belt as the to seat belt and then check the module but i just want to make sure if i need to reset the module as well before i really start digging into the, the center console and pieces and stuff like that so we could get that airbag light off and then you already seen earlier in the video you're gonna see earlier in the video when we're about to change the knee ear back as well but anyways like share subscribe drop your comments and thoughts down below turn your post notifications on don't forget to grab yourself some merch from WeRebuilds.com. hey make sure you, you you like and share on all social media links that we have and don't forget hit the subscribe button but anyways what I'm gonna do first is take the battery off so I don't blow anything else because I don't want to blow this airbag and the the dash airbag over there or the knee airbags because then the parts car will be off of nothing because all those good parts that we already gotten you know we'll be have to buy more parts so just remember always take your ear the battery terminals off when you're working with the airbags I've done it before where I took terminals off and nothing happened but also I've seen instances where people like especially in the module they take it and they shake it and boom all airbags go off so that's just something that you don't want to do but anyways let's hop straight into this video yeah so this is the first thing that I'm gonna make sure to, to do take off because what I don't want to happen is as I said anything end up blowing uh, there's something that else we need to get off the other car too but down here so we have don't have this dangling so I just need to get that off the other car and then so I could put this so I know the batteries are not gonna go nowhere but anyways the terminal is off now let's get inside the car so to take out the pass the, the knee earbag is fairly easy so you have four bolts right so it's one two in the back and on both on the other side you know so this is a 10 mill millimeter so um that's what you could use to remove them so this is what i'm gonna do that's one i could even do it on the other side as well So with this part to remove it, you have a white clip right there. So I think all you do is just push it up and I think you do it on both sides. So let me try on the next side and see if I could get it out. It's my first time removing an airbag from a Ford. So it may be different, honestly, but I think that's what it is. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. That's what it is. You push up one side, and when you push it up, it goes up, and the other side, it does the same. And Okay, so now I'm gonna do it again so you can actually see the whole process one more time. So what I'm gonna do is just remove the four bolts, and then once I remove, remove those four bolts, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to 
try to um unclip the airbag. Airbag is right there. What I'm gonna do is so everybody could see one last time. I'm gonna zoom in so y'all could see it and see how I do it one more time. So all you're doing is pulling one side up. So I have this piece over here, one on this corner. I want to say I could pull both of them at the same time, but it's kind of hard for me to do that. But boom, and that's it. Comes all the way out. That's the earbag right here. Let's keep going. So to basically put it back in, it's just basically the same thing in reverse. Uh, the only thing is you have a little thing inside to let you know so you can't really get it wrong or put it in the wrong spot honestly so what you just gotta do is line it up And once you push it in, you hear that clip in, and then that's it. So all I'm just gonna do now is just put the four, the four bolts back in. And I mean, that's it. The knee ear bag is in. So that's it. Now knee ear bag is in, all four bolts are in. So that's one thing. The interior is slowly coming together now. We just gotta worry about this seat belt and the seat belt module that should be in the center console in the bottom. So uh, next time we're probably gonna have to like take the seats out, pull everything out. But before we even worry about that, honestly, I just probably gonna start on the front, and that's probably our next task right now. Oh, so all you gotta do is basically pull this pieces off. So. There are tabs right there. All right, so I didn't break anything, so that's good. Okay, cool. Yeah. So all those tabs are off. All those tabs are off. So for this, all I'll just do is just pull down on here and take this piece off so I don't break anything. So that's out the way. There's a little plastic piece in here that I need to get out so now the next thing that I need to do the next thing that I need to do is there's a this looks like either an 8 millimeter or a 10 so I just need to use those to pull these pieces off and then we could just start going going so I'm gonna put you on a time lapse while we pull everything down so one of the things that we're gonna make sure that we do is to pull out these little um, boxes so the seat is all the way back so what I'm gonna do is start removing these so we could get um, so we could get to the bolts that we need to remove the seat so it's good to have some removal tools um, oh, up. that kind of went somewhere oh yeah so it's good to have some of these removal tools because it helps out the situation. So let me put y'all where you can see everything properly or better. So it's easy, easy for y'all. So if that doesn't work, I have a flat, uh, thin flat screwdriver. And so I just use that and then it just comes off. So this looks like it's a 
a T50 or a T55. So I have both of them. I have a T50 and a T55. I'm going to try the T55 first. Yeah, so the T55 works good. The T50 is just going to spin in there. So, T55. Pull the seat out. And then there's another um, screw inside. I want to say this looks like to take the cover piece off. If I'm not mistaken. So we might have to, and that looks like a, not a small one. So that looks like it could be a, let me try T25 and see. No, that can't fit. So maybe it's a T15. All right, so the T T15 work. So there's a smaller um, screw down there as well. And then I'm gonna loosen it up the other piece with that T50. Yeah, because I don't I don't know if it comes the whole thing comes off with of the seat, but before I look, it looks like it comes off with of the seat because everything is shaking with it. So this might just be like if you wanted to just take this just the plastic piece off. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna well, I think I got it to where I needed to and I still could be able to put this wrench behind here and then I'm gonna start working on the one right here on this side So that one right there and then as you can see there's another bolt right there and then we have the one right here and then that should be all of them so I'm gonna remove these and then and then get the seat out all right so now all four bolts are removed I'm just gonna get this out from what we took out of the parts car what I'm gonna do now to see if I could move the seat back. So all right. So now that I move the seat back, you see we have this one wire right here that comes out of the, the car to the seat. So I don't think I'm going to pull it out. Mm. Now I don't think I need to pull the seat all the way out. So I might not touch that. Um, but what I will do is start pulling these little what I will do is start pulling these little plastic pieces out and then so I could get to the seat belt I'm gonna leave the seat like this for now for when I'm pulling the module out of the the center console so I'm gonna see if I could set you all up over there and then start pulling these these trims off or hold on Let's see if I could just start some right here
see how it's starting to push the, the trim the trim away. And I also have these to help me out so I don't break any clips. Okay, so I might have to move the seat a little. We'll see. So I think it's completely off. Okay, so down here, as you can see down here, the seat belt is kind of caught in the, in the middle of this little cut in the trim. So all I'm gonna do is just slide it out. So removing the seat was prob would probably be e the easiest. The easiest thing to do. So let me try from the other side. it out so the trim piece is out as you can see that's a piece of the seat belt right there and this is the rest of it that goes up so what I'm gonna need to do is just remove this one bolt that I see and then I should be able to take it off so let's remove that and see what happens all right so what I have right here is a 10, 10 millimeter socket all right so see just by pushing it up it's out we'll slowly pull down on this okay so that's out that's all we have right here right now is the seat belt so this should be a, a t55 so this right here should be a T55 to pull this bolt up top so we could get this goes up and down so 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 for this it goes up and down because you can see I just um, press this down and it goes up and down so I'm not worried about that I'm just gonna take this bolt off and then down here you have the other bolt and it's right here for the seat belt and then there's another bolt down here for the seat belt as well so we're gonna take those three out and then see if I'm all I'm just gonna do is just clip the other one in from the other car and see if it works good news and bad news the bad news is this this seat belt that I took out of the passenger the the, the passenger side on the parts car cannot be used so they're two different because of these little things right here because on the passenger side it was this way on the car on the driver's side it's this way on the car so it won't be able to go in so we're just gonna have to send this one in from the driver's side of the car that we're fixing and send it in to our 
either safe to restore or LND solutions and then have them rebuild the seat belt. Now I'm gonna see if I could take the module out because we have most of everything pulled up on the driver's side, which in this is everything that, that we already done. So now we're gonna hop on here. So this side should be easy. I wanna say it's just some tabs right here. So let me see if I could pull it or just use my tab tool. But it's it should just be all I'm doing is is just pulling on the tabs and I should be able to get this whole cover off. All right, so what I did, I ended up pulling the driver's seat out. It's just basically one clip. You know, all you gotta do is just push down and pull. Then I pull this piece out. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I could just remove one side and then reach under and get the module. See if that will work. But uh, I have one eight millimeter bolt right there. So I think that's for this side. So I'll probably just remove the both, both on both sides so it's easier and then just pull this piece off and then just start doing everything. Let's go. Okay, so the update is I have most of this already loosened. I'm not trying to break anything, but there's something holding on to right here. So I might have to try to use the, the removal tool and try to pull up this side. Um, but it looks like I'm gonna have to take out the passenger seat as well. And then removing that passenger seat should basically have us take this whole thing out. So I'm gonna remove the passenger seat and see what's going on. All right, as you can see, this is the most tedious part. I said it is. It's a lot of work, but a couple um wires are still connected on this side to this, so I'm not gonna pull it off because I just basically shift it. But I did pull out this USB wire 
right here that's connected to right here all you have to all you as you can see in the time lapse i'll squeeze this piece and pull it right out but i uh, just gotta pull this up and then basically once i pull this up uh i just see right off i just, just remove these four bolts and boom the srs module is out um once that's out we're gonna send that module in and then we should be good i'm just gonna leave the car unplugged for now so nothing kind of throws any new codes but there's a whole bunch of 10 millimeter 8 millimeter bolts on this but it was a lot tedious to do those last two bolts back there those were the, the bolts that was basically holding the whole thing in but so just pull it forward so i end up had to take out both seats because there's no way to go around it or if might be yes but i end up breaking some things so on this side i think i kind of broke the piece but i don't it doesn't look like it so um it looks like we're good on this side and then just basically pushing stuff up a little bit but to put it back together shouldn't be hard so we'll take this module out get it everything prepped and ready to send to lnd solutions and that should be it for now so uh i'm just gonna take those four bolts out pull it out and then we're gonna I want to say we're going to probably wrap it up or maybe we just wait till everything comes back. But let's go. So there you have it. You have the seat belt. So this is like a, I want to say it, this one is the double one because we have one here, one connected there and one connected here. And then you just have to reset this SRS module. I wish it was like a German car where you just clear the code and you're good. But uh, that's it. Um, I'll install everything once once we get them back from LND Solution. Let's go. Okay, so that's a wrap for today's episode on Weavey Builds. As you can see, we remove all the seat belts and everything. So only thing we have to do, they should it should be back within a week and a half. So once we get that back in a week and a half, then we can fix back the car. But anyways, stay positive, stay motivated. Hey, don't go anywhere because you'll see us back next week. Let's go.